And how's it going guys? It's Josh aka Olufemi. And I'm Rondell Sheridan. And in this video, we have the pleasure of having Rondell here. Um, we're going to be talking about a few random tips in the world of production, post-production that you may not actually know. Little secrets, little things. You may not actually know that Rondell actually, as much as you may know him from acting in front of the camera, he actually does just as much in behind the camera. I dabble. Dabble. Dabble a little he bit more, more than, than dabble. dabble. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> but we were talking about lighting and uh, yeah. I was asking about what you love to shoot with. I love shooting tungsten light. Yeah, and then I was like, tungsten? Like, what are you talking about? Right Daylight now? Like, balance, shoot tungsten light, yeah. and you just, everybody looks good with a suntan. Everybody looks good in bronze. So you, so when you shoot tungsten, do you white balance to that tungsten? No, to because it then it would go white. Then it would go normal. You want that. I want that. Brown. I want that brown. Whenever you got daylight in it, you yeah. get that great blue in the background that would just, it was just really great. It's, it's even bluer, right? Yeah. If I'm thinking about it. That's but how right. they make it look like it's nighttime when they're shooting day. So they tungsten balance and then outside you get that blue. Okay. So you think it's evening, but it's really in the afternoon. Gotcha. That's okay. what they do. Yeah. Okay. That's all the little hidden secrets oh, about take, that. Let me take my glasses off. There you go. I still get look. That, that oh, great. I'm out of focus now. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, but, I no, love I, still... I love experimenting with that and people talking about now using lights when people say, because, you know, lights are expensive to have, but you can go to Home Depot and just get some floodlights. Tungsten's are cheaper. You're right. Yep. And put a t-shirt over it, put whatever you can diffuse the lights really over it, and you got it. When people, I just heard some some y kids, I heard some young people complaining about they didn't have lights. I'm like, man, you do have lights. You're just, you're falling in love with a perfectly lit set. Yeah. Start small, you can do the exact same thing. I remember yeah. I remember going to Home Depot when I first started out, like, uh, and, and like burning... Like getting those, you know, the work lights up oh, and then yeah, burning my set, falling on, on my actors and stuff. <laughs> that, I don't know what that, there, there should be like a guarantee. These lights will only stay in place for 90 minutes. After that, you start to You're see. Tripping it. over wires and like, like, yeah. It was ghetto. And it was ghetto. And they're really hard. I didn't know about diffusing, so it was like oh, a hard oh light. My God. Yeah. You said yesterday or the day before I was watching you and you were talking about um, you had a choice of cameras and you said that kids nowadays yes. they want to shoot with the modern they, wait i can't remember what you said they want to shoot with the modern gear or they were complaining about what they have so so basically what happened was so i was a teacher for three years uh like a film teacher and i would always be like oh this new camera's camera i forgot what the new camera was back then uh the new such and such camera camera you guys got to get it it's so good and i'd always get a little bit of pushback i felt like from uh, some of the other teachers who were you know good friends but they, they were always like um, the type of people that would be like, mm, you know, some of these kids, you know, they need to be more storytellers. They need, they need to practice being storytellers. Story's more important. Story's more important. More but also, gangster. they don't have the money. You're, you're pushing crack on the kids. Yeah. You're pushing crack. You're like, you should get this. Yeah. And they're wasting all their money. And you know, there's some students where you go, dude, you're never going to make it in this business. Why are you spending all this money? I mean, the bright and shiny is great. <laughs> bright and shiny is great but if you don't know if you don't know yeah. story if okay. you don't know technically i can't tell you how many times i started in the business where somebody would rent a camera yeah and i go you don't even know how to put the camera together you know yeah. you're spending 400 dollars a day on a camera that you didn't take time to figure out how to use the camera but what do you think about this so this basically i was like so yeah i get story is important narrative is important but um i feel like that i i, I feel like that idea is taken to the point sometimes where I even see people saying you can shoot anything on an iPhone and I feel like there's like a point where you need at least a basic number of camera specs to get you what I think would be uh, before it starts being detrimental to even storytelling okay I always like being in the system that I'm in until I can no longer use that system okay so I used to edit on iMovie and this was years ago. Oh. And uh, Final Cut had been out for a couple of years and people were telling me, you should move to Final Cut. And I said, I will stay on iMovie until there's something I can't do on iMovie. Okay. And then I'll move to Final Cut. Got so you. if you go back to your camera, whatever camera you're in, and you want to do time-lapse, if your camera can't do time-lapse, then it's time to move to what you're going to do but i okay. i look at it this way if you gave if you gave steven spielberg that t what is it the t t2i the t2i yeah 
could he shoot a good something good with a T2I? Yeah, Steven Spielberg yeah. has got a good eye. He's got yeah. a good vision for what he wants to shoot. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't have to be in 4K. I could show you something good in 720 where you go, wow, you shot that in 720. Oh. And I think it's hilarious. We have a uh, Matt somewhere behind the camera. Uh huh. He, we actually did a video a while back. I actually remember where he actually shot something on an iPhone. He edited it the way he does, and it actually looked freaking amazing. Yeah. Most people can't do that. No. Well, yeah, but okay. I couldn't do that. Yes, but here's the deal. So you're saying that if they got a better camera, even though they still couldn't edit the way I, Matt, I, I agree. No, I agree with what you're saying. I, what you're saying? I, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. yeah everybody sense, yeah. wants it. Yeah. Everybody wants a Mercedes and a Porsche. Yeah. Nobody out there, unless you got six kids, wants a station wagon. Nobody wants a station wagon. You're not pulling in. You're not pulling in. You're not pulling up to a, to the traffic light. Pulling women in with the with the station wagon. Hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> I, got this, I got a station wagon. That's wood. That's wood paneling. On. Nobody. I'm no, genuine. It's genuine. It's not sexy. <laughs> so everybody wants. You know, everybody wants the sexy gear when you pull. In. You know, I brought my camera. I brought, oh, yeah. I brought my C200, and everybody's like, "Whoa!" It's a nice camera, yeah. Yeah, but if I can't shoot anything good with the C200, it doesn't matter. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So now I've talked you out of, I'm I wish kid. older me could have come in the those time po- those, machine. Those poor kids, you know, two, three years ago, you know, they're like, they're, <laughs> they're in debt right now. <laughs> my teacher told us to buy a red. We live out of our car now. Rondell, thank you so much again. Oh, you're welcome, This was a man. pleasure. I learned a lot. Uh, you put uh, some stuff in your back pocket. You always learn, no matter who you talk to. Yeah. You don't absorb it. That's what it is. You learn constantly in a day. Yeah. But it's now the stuff that you absorb that I call you put in your back po- pocket, and you go, oh, that's back pocket now. Oh, yeah. You go, oh, okay, yeah. Getting, yeah. getting getting pushed back out again. But, uh, okay, so where, where can we find you as far as your, your work? You can find me on Twitter at Rondell Sheridan. Okay. You can find me on Instagram. Instagram is the Rondell Sheridan. And there's okay. a reason there's a the, there's some people out that I'm going to put a hit out because you're doing some fake Rondell Sheridan. Watch stuff. out. So watch out. Uh, but I do my photography mainly on uh, the Rondell Sheridan on Instagram. Okay. So I got to do more of that. But yeah, I travel a lot. Perfect. Yeah. This guy does travel a lot. Thanks so much again. Thank you. And as always, we say thanks for watching and make sure to keep it chill. <laughs>